Hey, hey everybody, it's Krista here from Activate Her Awesome. And today I'm going to show you how you can verify your sending domain in ConvertKit. So what you're going to do is you're going to log into ConvertKit. You're going to come over here into your settings. You're going to click on email in the left hand side. And then there's going to be this option that comes up that says verify sending domains. To do this, what you're going to do is you're going to click verify your domain. And this is where you're going to put in your domain name. You're going to make sure that you put it in without any prefix. So there's no HTTPS colon slash slash. There's definitely no www. It's just the name of your website. And then you click next. It's going to give you a couple of records. It wants you to add these to your DNS. This means you're going to have to go into your web hosting account and add a couple of records. And I'm going to show you how to do this really easily. The first thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy everything before the dot activate her I'm going to go into my web hosting account and I am going to navigate to the area where I can add those records myself. That's in the plus control panel area. So you're basically going to look for the same thing for your website. All right, once you're in your control panel, you want to navigate to the place where you can add your DNS records. So for me, that meant going to hosting and DNS and then clicking on DNS. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a record and I'm going to go back and see what it said. It said it once. So there are two C name records. So that's good. So we're going to change this little drop down to C name. And this is where I'm going to paste those letters that were in front of dot activator awesome dot com. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select this because it's going to copy this record. This is the value that it wants me to add on this line. And then I'm just going to hit OK. I'm going to add the second record before I update. So I'm just going to come in here, copy that, add a record. Again, it's another C name record. And the reason I know it's a C name record is because it tells me right here the type of record that it wants me to do. Then I am going to paste those letters on this line, making sure that there's no extra spaces. I'm not bringing in an extra, that period. So it's got to be the exact same. Make sure there's no spaces, no extra things. And then I'm going to select this and copy this value, paste it on this line and hit OK. Okay, so you do want to make sure that you're bringing in the full value for the values that you're bringing in. So you want to make sure that you use the copy button for that. It when you're bringing in your C name name records, you want to make sure that you just copy what's in front of it instead of copying the whole thing. Because if in essence, I copied this whole thing, watch what happens when I go to paste it in as a new C name record. And then if I paste that here, it's bringing in it twice and the record's actually not going to apply, if that makes sense. So that's why you need to make sure that you are copying just and just the letters that are in front of the dot activate her awesome dot com or whatever your domain is. OK, so now let's go to the next step. I'm going to hit cancel on this one because I don't actually want to do this. I'm going to update these. And let's just see if there's anything else that I need to do. It doesn't look like I do. Now all I need to do is click validate. Done. And the only other thing that I need to do is add this other step. So now it wants me to add this TXT record with this name. So I'm going to copy this, come back, add a record. This one's going to be a TXT record. There's the part that I need to put in front of the prefix. This is the value that I need to bring in. Paste it here. Hit OK. Hit Update. Come back here. Click Finish. Okay, so that was actually getting us to try to add a second sending domain, which we don't actually need to do. So all you need to do is X out of that, check to make sure that your domain has this green check mark on it, and you have verified your sending domain. Done. I uh, hope this tutorial has been helpful. Please make sure you drop any questions in the comments below. Have an amazing day. Cheers.